What's going on my New Dawn family? This is Ben Stocks, the Account Management Manager. Uh, taking some time to show you guys the new filing cabinet that we've been working on for a couple years and I appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy schedules to do the same. Uh, just as a little caveat to this, there are going to be some more functionality added to the filing cabinet such as bait stamping, uh, file versioning, that's not ready to show right now, but I am ready to show you what you can use in Justware if you upgrade to 5.10. This instance that I have open right now is representative of 5.0 to 5.9. This is what the filing cabinet looks like. You have a grid view. As you can see, we have 244 rows on this filing cabinet. So if I wanted to go through, I'd have to click through and open these up one by one to see what one is. In the words of Jimmy... Ow. So, I'm, like I say, I'm excited to show you what we've come up with. This is my little guy dressed up as Clark Kent uh, for Halloween. And uh, as you can see, this 823WGTMA with a backslash means that a folder was just dragged and dropped into this filing cabinet. So I do have two instances open of Justware. I have a, a Just, Justware 5.9, and you can see up at the top the Web 5.9. I also have the Web 5.10. So as you can see, this is the exact same filing cabinet, our 14-948 case in 5.10 with the new filing cabinet. So here's that picture I just showed you guys, the 13-30. I can double click it. The nice thing about this is I have three different options. I have a large icon view, which kind of gives us a nice little thumbnail. I have the normal icon view, which makes them smaller. And I also have a details view, so kind of like that grid view I was just showing you. The good thing about this, this uh, Justware 510 filing cabinet that I really like is this preview button. As you can see, I have three different options over here. I have a properties, which gives me the document, document name, the type of file that it is, if you guys use categories or any notes. I have an involvement so that I can go ahead and add uh, people to these documents if my business practice is that but my favorite is the preview so if I click on this you can see that whatever row I highlight it gives us a nice little preview over on the right you can see that he fell asleep eating a rice crispy treat so he's got some treats all over his face there he is as Clark Kent again and I can just go through these and I can keep generating this preview there's his older brother as Batman Another uh, feature that we have is this more option. So I'm going to switch this back to the normal icon view, which is the one I prefer. But we also have this more option. So as you can see, once I have one highlighted, a picture highlighted, I can print this, I can email it, I can move to a case record, or I can copy to. Now you guys need to be really careful when using these. When you move it to a different filing cabinet, it is gone out of this filing cabinet. So if I moved it to this this if I move this file from 14-948 to a 14-1, this document that I'm moving is gone from the 14-948 Darth Vader case and moved to the 14-1 case. So I'm just going to copy to and I'm going to do a case record. So as you see, and now I have an option to search. So if I did a search for Yoda, his case pops up, or I can copy two related cases. And my related cases are Yoda and Luke Skywalker. So if I wanted both of those uh, to be copied, to, if I wanted my pictures to be copied to these filing cabinets, I'd just select both, hit copy, and now I can go to those cases through my related cases and take a look at this. So here's that Yoda case that I just copied these files over to. And you'll see that it made a little folder the, titled the exact same thing as it was in that other filing cabinet. And there's the picture that I copied over. Here's my preview, my little Batman and Robin. So now it's over to this um, related case. And it's also in that Luke Skywalker case that was related. So I'm going to head back to the filing cabinet now. And if I were to move those, then this picture would now be gone from the filing cabinet. So then we have a delete, and we also have a, a customize. And that's basically just over here with our properties and involvement. You can do it both ways, either through that drop down or through these two tabs. So normal functionality that we're used to seeing in a filing cabinet is an add file. When I click on this, you'll see that I am out to my Windows folder. So I could browse out to a, to a file or folder 
and uh, just put this in there. So now that I browsed out, I can go ahead and put that picture in, some remodeling pictures, and that's now in my filing cabinet. Now when I hit save, you're going to see a little file upload. This tells me when my picture is complete and what's happening with that. If I don't want to see that, I can click on this do not automatically open on an upload and then I'll never see that again. But it's a nice way that you can see the progress of, that your picture is making. We also have a generate doc, which is just like your uh, control I right now in Justware. So if I click on this, I have all these documents I can choose from. When I add this and save, it will generate that document and I can take a look at that. So you saw my little upload. Here's my document. And then the nice thing about that as well is uh, I can also preview this. So here's that document that I just previewed out of here. So I'm going to now switch gears a little bit and go to Justware 5.9 again so that you can kind of see how your different case to, how your different files are going to be converted. So I also have this Yoda case and you can see that they're just all pulled in img-1319.jpg. There's 30 pictures in here. So I'm going to go back to my Yoda case in 5.10 so that you can see how those were brought over. So here's my Yoda case in 5.10. You'll notice that it's not in a folder because the folder wasn't actually dragged and dropped into my old version of Justware, my 5.9. So they were just all brought in normal pictures. So I can do the same thing with these. I can preview, I can, pro I can uh, involvement. And another thing that you can do is you can control click. You can shift click to select multiple pictures at the same time. So one other option that we have up here that I skipped over was this new folder. So in this filing cabinet, I could create a new folder and call it pictures. And then I can actually move all these JPEGs into my picture folder. Then I can create another folder and name it videos. Then I can take all these MOVs and move those over to my videos. So you can see how those were um, converted over. One thing to note is that if you do use um, custom screens, so screens beside our tab, tab details, you can see that I'm in the tab view down here in the lower right hand corner. If I go to this same Darth Vader case in my custom civil case view, you can see that these documents were all pulled in one by one just like they are in Justware 5.9. So don't worry, we do have something that uh, should help you out with this. If you go to your, your maintenance console, and this is usually on your web server, and if you need some help, feel free to contact, support, or um, anybody that you need to get a hold of in order to update your filing, your Dwimmel. So I'm just going to go ahead and find this Dwimmel in my maintenance console. And here it is. And when I right click on this row, there's an upgrade including filing cabinet. So when I click on this, you'll see that it upgraded one session. And now when I go back to this case, I'm going to have to uh, close out all my sessions. And of course, if you're not in JustWare, then this will automatically do that. This is just for the webinar purpose. And I go to Tools and Options and Clear Cache Sessions. And then I go one more time in options and clear cached code tables. And then I do a search for my Darth Vader. I'm going to open it up in this civil case that I was just talking about. And then you'll notice in this filing cabinet that we have the upgraded. So there it is. All my pictures are in there. This criminal DC is in there. I can preview this. And there's my filing cabinet. Now one other item that I want to show you is the ability to create these custom folders uh, on, a, on a case type. So I'm just going to do a new case. I'll make it my criminal case type with the status of open. And I just need to come in here and add a defendant. We're just going to do another Darth Vader case since he's already in the system. 
When I move back to the filing cabinet, then I'm going to save. And you'll notice that when the save is complete, that I'm going to have two new folders, a police reports and discovery. Now you can make these folders case specific. You can make them whatever folder types you want or names. Uh, you can make inside of a folder, you can actually create a folder. So if I want discovery photos, and I can do that. If I want, uh, say we have fo photos from different sources. So this is, these are photos from a cell phone. Um, you can go ahead and do that. You can see that it's really easy to make folders inside of a folder with just where uh, 510's new filing cabinet. And it's also easy to tell where you're at. So if I just keep following this, you can see that there's a little breadcrumb being kept up here. If I click on there, I can copy it. If I unclick, I can tell. So I know that I'm in Discovery folder, in the Videos folder, and on this uh, .mov, this movie file. So if I just hit this back, I can click on it. I can click up here just to go wherever I want. And I can go back to Police Reports. One other item, and the final item I want to show, is our new search feature in the filing cabinet, which is really nice. So if I have an idea of maybe what a document has or contains in it or the title or something, I can just type in this 1599 and hit enter. And you can see that it went and uh, eliminated all the other documents except for the one that contains that 1599. So when I preview this, you can see our BI rep, Bryant Nelson, all dressed up for picture day. I'll make this one big for everyone just so that they can see it, see how happy he is. And that's how our search works. So if I wanted to clear that, I just hit the X. All my folders, all my uh, pictures and files show back up. And then I can start typing in criminal for another search if I can spell right. And there's that criminal document that we created earlier. One thing I forgot to mention is with the new folders that were created in this uh, case, the police report and discovery, that was done through a business rule. So the business rule is really easy to make. I just did if uh, case type equals criminal, and once it saves and create these two new folders, there's a new uh, result called create folder. It's really easy to find, pretty easy to create. If you need help with any of this, let us know. Once again, I really appreciate your guys' time. I know that you're busy, and I appreciate the time that you took to take a look at this. If you do need anything, don't hesitate to contact support or myself or Jeremy Gledhill. Thanks again for your time. Goodbye.